Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ancient's Place. So, this just arrived. Actually, just arrived like a day ago or two days ago. Super excited on this one. I think some of you have already seen this. Canvases from Zideshow. And these are none other than the Iron McDonald X-Men and the Mutant Brotherhood of Mutants. So let's unbox this, let's get this out of this box because I'm super excited to open these canvases. So let's get started. I actually don't know which is which, so let's just open one by one. Either way, let's see. Oh, this one, super loving this. I'm actually, I actually have, um, I think I have already like a few, I, I have two Iron McDonald canvases. Uh, I have the Wonder Woman frame but it was a paper so this one is another addition to some of iron mcdonald goodness so which one is it this is the x-men so there you go um before I unravel or unpack this from the bubble wrap, I will open the Brotherhood of Mutants as well so that we can unwrap them together. Let's do that. I'll put this aside. Come on and give me more, more. There's nothing like it, nothing like it, nothing like it. Oh, no, no. Come on and get me. Actually, I'm excited more on the Brotherhood of Mutants, how they look. Because there's actually been a lot of X-Men um, art prints or art, uh, but there's quite less in terms of Brotherhood of Mutants. There was previously though, um, for Brotherhood of Mutants and X-Men. That one, I don't have, I don't think there was a canvas back then for that. So that's why when this came out, I jump right into it. Give me more of that. So this is the Brotherhood of Mutants. So let's put them together and, and wrap them together as well. Got me buzzing, got me all turned up Flicker brighter than a lightning bug Oh, oh All lit up like a Roman candle Got me burning when it's hard to handle Oh, oh, yeah Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me More, more, more It's what I'm asking for Come on and give me more, more, yeah There's nothing like it, nothing like it, nothing like it, no, no, no Come on and give me more Come on and give me more, more, more of that I hope I lit them properly. You guys can see how gorgeous they are. I hope. Um, anyway, I'll show you close-ups on this one. But before that, some few details of information regarding these two pieces. So this is an art by Ian McDonald. Ian McDonald has done a lot of art uh, for sideshow art prints, and I really love them. Most of them, I I actually have a lot of Ian McDonalds. One of the most popular ones if I remember it correctly which I don't have was the I think the 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 Sith and the Jedi's that art print that's the one I don't have the one I do have are the X-Men 
which is like a Jim Lee recreation, uh, the cover, and also the Avengers. That one is one of my favorites. It's a panoramic uh, art print. And now this bad boys here, very beautiful to be honest. I really love them. So this is actually the X-Men and Brotherhood of Mutants. Um, what is particular though is both canvases has 75 edition size but for the paper this one is a 350 and this one has i think only a 250 so this has a lesser edition size which a bit more rare and currently both are all of them paper canvas only a I think you can only have the wait list right now. I, I think you, you have to join, right? You have to join the wait list. Uh, it's not yet sold out, I guess, but you have to join the wait list to get them. They're pretty good. Uh, the size is, I would say I love, because as you can see, they're quite tall. So I like this um, uh, tall uh, art prints. It's 25 by 17, so the height is 25 inches, the width is 17. I do wish the width was like 18, but most of Sideshow art prints, if you have like a tall uh, 25 uh, height, normally they have like a, a thinner width. But either way, it looks awesome. I just want it to be higher because it, with the height, it looks big anyway. Either way, I'm super excited to show you guys the close up, so let's get started. So let's start with the Brotherhood of Mutants. I got the edition size of seven out of 75. There you go. So the characters here are actually Sabretooth, Avalanche there, uh, Mystique, there's Juggernaut, there's Emma Frost. Wow, she's gorgeous. Um, there's Toad. There's Spyro up there, uh, there's Blob, and there is Magneto, of course. So let's go on to details. Let's start with Avalanche right here. Look at the details, the line works, the different, uh, the, the different lines in the armor. The color of Avalanche as well, very classic. I love that. I love the shine on this helmet and his armor very beautiful let's see his face i hope we can focus there you go very good i love that and he, there's a signature of ian mcdonald uh near avalanche's hand and next to him is saber tooth look at the beautiful lines and this is what i love with ian mcdonald's ian mcdonald's um artwork you can always see this highlights and this uh, coordinated with the different strokes look at this one so there's like shadows and highlights and then partnered with that strokes beautiful strokes so I always love like how he does the hair and I think that's what makes this like saber tooth right here look so awesome you can see the details look at that I just love that look at the different strokes and this is what I always look at with regards to artwork because you can really feel the the details and how the artist does their work or their art. In here, this is Mystique. The details on the guns. Look at that. Pretty awesome. I like that kind of flare of the light. Very beautiful. I think you can see this a lot um, in the in this artwork as well. She looks gorgeous as well. Look at that. And at her back is Juggernaut. Like very big dude. I love the crack in this. Like the the weathering. Look at that. And his helmet. And look how big he is. His knuckles, the details in his knuckles. Very good as well. And beside him, beside Juggernaut is Emma Frost. She looks darn gorgeous. Look at that. I really love that. Very sexy. I think it's very classic looking costume here. Very beautiful. I love the, the physique as well. Again, if you look again, the the, the fur, the hair. Uh, like I said, this is one of why I love Ian McDonald's art. And here in the side, let's go back here. This is Toad. A bit small though. But you can still see the details, his tongue there. 
very beautiful i do wish uh, i can actually so his tongue actually goes until there that's quite interesting very nice i love that detail really beautiful i love his colors as well and his expression here and also blob very beautifully done i do wish i could see more of his body though because blob is always known for his body i think you can only see here his like arms or something and his neck <laughs> he still looks good as well anyway um and then before i go to the last guy let's go for Supiro. so pyro here a bit small but you can actually see the details i love again how the the flare of the fire goes how he's portrayed this looks awesome and lastly the master of magnetism magneto look at that look at the detail there you go pretty awesome very classic costume as well and i think there's some metal this is back at the back there very beautiful so let's have one more look at least as for the x-men um this is the four ed edition four i got the number four out of 75 and the signature from ian mcdonald is somewhere here at wolverine near wolverine so the characters in the x-men side is wolverine there you go we got the dude rogue um down here is psylocke and here's colossus here's gambit beast there you go um gene gray there's also iceman uh storm cyclops there and professor xavier seems like he's just in in their minds or a psionic kind of stuff now let's check the details on the x-men so wolverine so what i always check with wolverine because he's a hairy dude i always inspect the hair so that is nicely done not that perfect a bit still a bit cartoony not re so realistic but i love it even in the arms it's there and i pretty much love how he looks at uh, how he looks right now he's very angry um there i'm not sure he's about to do a berserker barrage and in here rogue rogue is so gorgeous i think out of the the latest in both art print i think she's i would say the most beautiful um i will how how it's done how she looks second would be psylocke so before i go to psylocke let's check on rogue's outfit very x-men classic which is the and not not the classic the jim lee version and i really love that look at the details the coat the green and the yellow i love that really awesome now again the hair look at the hair look at that it's beautifully done the waves are nice the strands are very beautiful and let's go to psylocke she's gorgeous also very gorgeous very beautifully done i love how the the psionic is done there it's somehow her her fingers are no longer seen but it's somehow like melded with the psionic or something that is beautifully done i love that but she looks gorgeous and up here is colossus i love the shine i really like that it's very metallic like um there you go and i love how he's posed as well that we can actually see his back because i think for all most of the characters here we always see the front and this one i guess emphasizes more at the back part because you can see there all the muscles so he looks amazing in there as well and gambit right here i love this i love the effect i love how like somehow the the cards are getting smaller or something or burn i love that i love how it looks again the strands of the hair the eyes looks awesome really beautiful and i love the highlights the purple highlights there beast looking fierce as well there you go very beautiful i do wish i could see a lot more because it seems like he's a bit in the back i would have loved if we can see him more there so gene gear gene gray here as well 
Uh, I do wish we could see more of her face because I know she's gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> and with the psionic powers in there as well. And down here is Iceman, a bit small. Love the details, really beautiful. I like that. I do wish it is background a bit, how do I say, like l darker so that we can actually see him more. But the, I think the details there are phenomenal. Look at that. Very awesome. Look at how he, he controls the ice. And up here is Storm. A bit small as well, but you can actually see the details. I guess he's conjuring all the lightning, the weather. Beautiful. And up here is Cyclops. Right there. A bit small, but I guess we can already picture out Cyclops to be here. The same as Magneto. And I love, again, the, the flare kind of stuff. I really love that. And Professor X is the background. I guess they he is in their minds psionically. So the details of Professor X there as well. His face, his eyes, very awesome. So this is the X-Men lineup, the X-Men art print. So there you go. What a beauty. This art is really amazing. Um, Iron McDonald does it again and I'm really pleased with this. I do have a wish uh, for Sideshow to do. Um, I still love that they are both like there are two art prints. What I wish is the framing option where they can, especially I think we've seen a lot of side art prints that they had like it's a it's a it's a duo art. Um, I do wish that there's a framing framing option where they combine the two. Uh, it's still a separate like art, but the frame is just one, and then like it's co just combined. That would be very interesting. I do wish Sideshow does that as an option for framing, but either way, these are just super good. Like, whoo, very beautiful. One of the best, I would say, as well. And yeah, if you like the video, <laughs> click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone and also subscribe to my channel, The Ancient Place, so you'll have a lot of content like this, more art prints to share as well. And see you in the next video. Give me more. More of that.